Hello guys, welcome back to Modern Web. I hope you are all doing great. Today's video is little bit different than what I usually create. If you do follow my channel, you know I make long art tutorials. But from now on, I'll try to upload these sort of CSS tips and tricks videos per week. So if you guys are interested, make sure to subscribe the channel. Okay, so without talking much, let's see the demo. You can see we have this very beautiful card in the center with blue background. Our card is simple with white borders and round edges. When we hover the card, you can see this nice sliding effect. Isn't it amazing? If you see the card body, you see its background is transparent but the background image is also blurred and it looks cooler when it slides. We have nice text over the cards and along with that we have this nice button also. So yeah, that's the hover effect we are going to create today. So you can download the source code from the description and also you can join my discord server to discuss any error you are facing. Link is in the description. Without wasting more time, let's start coding. So for this tutorial, I have two files, one index.html file and the other one is for style.css file, the styles files. So start with the basic HTML template and give it a title, let's say card over effect and then link the style.css file using link attribute i hope you know these things so this will link the style file to it okay and for this tutorial i'm going to use roboto google font and to add a roboto google font first open your web browser and search for roboto google font and open the first link you'll go to this page and then select these three styles the light one the medium one and the regular one we will use these three font faces or font weights in this project so you can select any of the font you like and any of the font weight you like it's on your preference and copy this link tag once you copied those tags paste them here and let me style this link a little bit perfect now let's style the page first so open the style.css file and here use a star selector well a star selector in css generally select all the elements in the page so a star selector will apply these properties to all the elements and it's a good practice to set margin adding zero so yeah and then select a body element and set its width and height to 100 percent but uh, for height give it 100 vh and set its background to this bluish color and if i refresh the page you can see the output on the right side set its font family to roboto sans serif because we have imported the Roboto from Google, right? Now inside a body, make a div and give it a class card. This will be our card element and inside it, make an image element. Give it a source image.jpg and by the way, you can download the image from the description. Give it a class card image. Now let's select the card and let's style the card. So select it and uh, give it a width, let's say 320 pixels and uh, give it a height of 500 pixels so it's just width and height and uh, give it a border radius 20 pixels to for the round corners you can't see it because our image is too large so set its overflow to hidden so now you can see the round edges and the card content itself now we want the card to be in center for that add display flex to body and set justify content center well justify content center make it horizontally center and align item center will make it vertically center now in card set border to 8 pixels solid and a white color so it will add 8 pixels of width border and then you can give its position to relative because we will have some absolute position element inside it now select the card image and give it width and height to 100%. So if I refresh the page, you can see the image, but it is little bit stretched. So to fix it, give object width cover. 
object fit cover will make it the image in the proportions now if i remove it you can see it is stretched but if i give it you can see it is now looking in proportions great for now comment this overflow hidden and now you can see the images are not round curves images don't have round curves so set their border radius to 15 pixels so now they are looking good and let's make the content now so after the image element make a div and give it a class well give it a class let's say card body and uh, inside it this card body will be the content of our card so let's style it first so select it in the style.css file and uh, give it a width of 100% and a height of 100% so it will cover whole card and set its top and left to zero instead of left give it right because we want it to come from right right so give it right zero and set its position to absolute so it will be over the image give it a back, black background so we can see it okay so let's change the background color now because black is not looking great right so give this hexa code and if i refresh the page you can see it but uh, i want it to be a transparent right so if you are using vs code you can see a color popper where easily down the opacity but uh, if you are not using a vs code don't worry just code this hexa code and it will work so you can see the bluish tone there and it's a transparent right for the blur use backdrop filter well filter is used to filter the element but backdrop filter will use to filter the background so here set its blur to 5 pixel so it will make the background to be blur 5 pixels and also give border radius for the round corners great so inside card body make an h1 and give it a class let's say card title and uh, give it anything you like i'm giving nyc because i'm making it as a tour card and after the h1 make a p element and give it a class card subtitle where i am giving the full form of the city and then create a p element again and give it a card info so this will be the long para of our card and you can give anything you like i'm just setting up a demo lorem Simpson text and after all of those things make a button and give it a class card btn and let's say book tour so you can see the content here it's not looking good isn't it so just let's style it so copy the card title and select it in the style.css file and uh, set the color to white inside the card body so we don't have to write individually to all the elements and also give it some padding i guess because we want some spacing and now let's style the card title so give its text transform to uppercase well i have text in uppercase but in future if we create a card with no uppercase letter it will make it uppercase right and give it font size to 50 pixels and uh, give it font weight to 500 because we want it to be bolder this is enough for card title so select the subtitle now and uh, give it text transform to capitalize so it will make each first letter of each word to capital and uh, then you can give its font size to let's say 14 pixels to make it little bit smaller and uh, give it a font weight of 300 so this will be the lighter the lightest text in this card it is looking great but i guess it needs some spacing well we will do the spacing thing at the end now select the card info and uh, give its font size to let's say 16 pixels well by default it is 16 pixels so i'm just setting up the default value but if you want another value you can give it there and line height to 25 pixels you can also give margin top and bottom so it will create some spacing and give it a font weight of 400 it is looking nice isn't it now the last element select the card btn element and uh, give it a color of this blue color 
and give its background to to this so you can see the background and the color on the right side now give it some padding also to create some spacing so give it 10 pixels from top and bottom and 20 from left and right set its border radius to let's say 5 pixels and set text transform to capitalize to make the first letter capital it is looking good but uh, i guess we have to remove the border so remove the border set border none and also set outline none so it will remove the chrome's default outline and uh, then set its font weight to 500 great set the cursor to pointer for the hand cursor so if i hover the card you can see the hand cursor is there so i guess it's time to create the hover effect right so first let's make all the card body elements in the center so give display flags to card body well after giving display flags you can see all the elements are side by side now so give flex direction column so it will make them align in the columns and now set justify content center so it will align all the elements in the center maintaining the spacings and since our card btn is covering the full width set its a fig width with 120 pixels let's say and yeah now let's create the hover effect so in the card body set its right default value to negative 100 percent so it will be the negative 100 percent from the right you can see there and now uncomment the overflow hidden so you can't see that right now we just need to add the hover effect so hover effect in the css we can access it using hover keyword so card hover means whenever we hover over the card so whenever we hover over the card select the card body element because we want to modify its css property and then inside it set its right to zero so if i hover over the card you can see it's just appearing like that it's not sliding or anything like that because it is not smooth animation so set its transition property to two seconds will make it smooth so when i hover over the card now you can see the smooth sliding effect and the cool card hover effect so that's it that was our card hover tutorial i hope you guys loved it and really learned something new from this if this video was helpful to you giving it a like it's very appreciable also don't forget to subscribe the channel if you don't want to miss these sort of css tutorials if you have any doubt regarding this or anything feel free to ask me in the comments or you can join my discord server we'll talk there link is in the description if you want to learn full stack web development you can check out my channel it has a lot of fun stuff so with that all thanks for watching